10 signs that you have candida overgrowth. Candida is a fungus or a yeast that naturally lives inside your body. This produces B vitamins in your gut which help your cells to make energy from the foods that you eat. Unfortunately, many people suffer from candida overgrowth or candidiasis where the candida yeast starts to spread and it infects different tissues in your body such as your mouth, your genitals, your skin, your toenails, etc. This usually happens when people take a course of antibiotics which kills off some of the friendly bacteria that lives in your body giving the candida fungus an opportunity to spread. Candida also eats sugar as its main fuel source, so if you're eating lots of refined carbs and sugars, these foods give candida more energy to infect your body. Another common cause is having high estrogen levels, because you're taking birth control pills, you're pregnant or you're overweight. This makes your gut more alkaline instead of acidic, giving candida more opportunities to spread. Other things that can cause candida and fungus to spread through your body include prolonged mental stress, consuming too many artificial sweeteners like aspartame in soda drinks, having a weakened immune system, using steroid medications too often, having diabetes or high blood sugars, or being in the hospital where candida superbugs are sometimes present. In this video, I want to make you aware of some of the different signs and symptoms of candida overgrowth that show up in your body. Be sure to watch until the end as I'll also be sharing some strategies and remedies that you can use to kill pathogenic candida in your body and restore the normal healthy balance. Be advised this video is for educational purposes only and is not designed to diagnose your problem. Please speak to your doctor if you have any medical issues. Number 1 is a white coated tongue. If your tongue has a white creamy coating with slightly raised bumps or lesions, this is mostly caused by candida overgrowth in the mouth. This is also known as oral thrush and can also cause sores and red patches on your tongue, the roof of the mouth and the back of the throat which may bleed when you brush your teeth. Candida overgrowth in the mouth very often happens in babies, toddlers and older people who have a weakened or undeveloped immune system. Later in this video, I'll talk about some natural treatments that you can use to deal with this. Sign number 2 is athlete's foot. Candida being a type of fungus, it likes to live in the dark, damp and moist environments and it tends to infect the skin between the toes and under the feet. This can cause an itching, burning sensation on the feet and the skin between and around the toes often cracks, it becomes very red, itchy, swollen and inflamed. The infected skin can also give off a foul odour because the yeast is releasing volatile byproducts into the air. Sign number 3 of candida overgrowth can be bloating. If you find that you have excessive bloating, gas and a feeling of pressure after you eat carbohydrates and sugars, this could be caused by a candida overgrowth in your large bowel. Candida is a fungus which ferments carbohydrates and sugars in your gut to make energy, but this reaction also releases gases like carbon dioxide and methane which can make you feel very bloated and distended in the stomach. Candida can also weaken your gut lining, which is leaky gut, causing toxins to start leaking into your bloodstream and this causes inflammation in the gut and other digestive problems. Taking a supplement of bile salts can help to address this issue, but again we'll talk more about this later. If you're finding this information helpful at all, please hit the like button, subscribe and turn all notifications on to stay updated with my latest health tips. On to sign number 4 now which is fungal toenail infections. What you need to know is that there are various different types of yeasts, moulds and dermatophytes which can infect your toenails and cause them to change colour. Candida tends to infect the toenail causing a white, yellowish nail that thickens and crumbles when you try to clip them. The skin around the nail may often become red and swollen as well. This usually happens with people who have high blood sugars, pre-diabetes or diabetes because these conditions can weaken blood flow to the feet, making them much more vulnerable to these infections. Sign number 5 is genital thrush. 
It's also very common for Candida to infect your private parts or genitals, causing thrush, known as balanitis in men or vaginal candidiasis in women. Moisture that's trapped in these areas provides a very good environment for yeasts like Candida to start thriving. Using harsh soaps, cosmetic sprays, perfumes or not keeping these areas clean can make you more likely to get a Candida albicans infection. Sign number 6 is Brain Fog Another extremely common sign of Candida overgrowth is having difficulty concentrating, tiredness after you sleep and just general brain fog. This is coming from the neurotoxins that are being released from the Candida inside your gut which is causing poor brain function. A Candida overgrowth can also deplete your B vitamins causing blood sugar issues which prevents fuel from reaching the brain cells as it should. You're also likely to crave more sugary snacks and drinks when you have this problem. Number 7 is Skin Rashes As I previously mentioned, Candida is a yeast which naturally exists on the skin's surface. Under certain conditions, Candida can start to become pathogenic and it can infect the skin causing various different types of rashes, especially under the folds of the body where it's dark and moist. For example, a diaper rash can be caused by Candida overgrowth, it could infect underneath the folds of the breasts, between the armpits, beneath the buttocks, etc. Topical antifungal creams are often used to treat this, but you can also use a natural raw coconut oil, tea tree oil or a garlic paste as a healthier and more natural alternative treatment. Symptom number 8 is sinus infections. If your immune system is low because you're stressed, you're taking medications or you're following a poor diet, Candida can sometimes infect the nasal passages in your face and nose, causing chronic sinusitis. This can cause you to have a feeling of pressure and a blocked nose and it may sometimes release a discharged liquid from the nose with a very foul smell. This condition can go on for years if it's left untreated because the yeast establishes a colony inside your sinuses so it keeps growing. I recommend gently inhaling steam every day for 10 minutes over a bowl of hot water which contains a few drops of oregano and garlic oil to help destroy the fungus. Now, sign number 9 is bladder infections. Urinary tract infections are very common especially in women who have high estrogen levels because of pregnancy or perhaps they're taking birth control pills. In some cases, the infection is caused by candida overgrowth and can cause a frequent urge to urinate, cloudy urine, pain or burning when urinating and the urine can also have a foul smell. This can be diagnosed very easily by your doctor by using a simple urine sample and it's usually treated by antifungal medications but you could also do a natural candida cleanse as seen in my video titled The Best Ways to Cure Candida Overgrowth and Yeast Infections Permanently. And finally, sign number 10 is unexplained joint pain. Although joint pain can be caused by a variety of different issues, if you suddenly begin noticing that you're aching more throughout your body, this could be caused by an immune reaction to the byproducts that Candida is releasing, like acetaldehyde, mannan, mycotoxins, amongst many others. In fact, rheumatoid arthritis can be caused by an imbalance of microbes in your gut, so it makes sense that an overgrowth of Candida may be contributing to joint pain. Although it's not always easy to diagnose Candida overgrowth, it is best to visit your doctor to share your symptoms and see which tests are available. Culture tests from the mouth, the nose, the genitals, the skin and the urine can be performed to identify if there is indeed a yeast infection. So how can you clear out Candida? Well, as I mentioned, Candida is opportunistic and it likes to take any chance it can get to spread to the different parts of your body. In fact, when it finds a moist, dark, weakened area where there isn't any competition from the friendly microbes, it starts to become pathogenic and it starts to grow these little branches which help it to stick and infect different parts of your body. So to help clear out this Candida infection permanently, consider using the following tips. 1. Treat the affected areas directly using a natural antifungal treatment. 
For skin infections, you can use coconut oil, as it contains caprylic acid which naturally kills fungus. For mouth infections, you can use salt water and wild oregano oil as a gargle. For a sinus infection, you can dilute kimchi juice with water and place a few drops inside your nostrils with a Q-tip to restore the friendly bacteria and kill off the fungus. You may also want to inhale steam with a few drops of oregano oil and garlic oil daily to gradually restore the balance to the sinuses. For balanitis in men, you may consider using neem oil and coconut oil. For a female genital infection, tea tree oil can be diluted with coconut oil and applied directly. And for skin infections, garlic paste can be applied mixed with a little coconut oil. Two. To restore the balance to your microbes, suppress candida and prevent yeast infections in the future, start to take a daily probiotic supplement which contains at least 100 billion colony forming units for about two months. This will help to recolonize your gut and your overall body with friendly bacteria which will take space away from the fungus and keep it in check. 3. Take a supplement which contains ox bile twice per day with food. This liquid supports your liver and gallbladder and helps to kill off candida overgrowth in the gut, whilst also detoxifying harmful chemicals that are being released from the candida albicins. Step 4 is to do a full candida cleanse by cutting out the sugar, refined carbohydrates in your diet and eating lots of antifungal foods like garlic, oregano, coconut oil, ginger, thyme, turmeric, etc. You can also perform intermittent fasting to help starve the candida where you eat all of your calories for the day in a strict 6 hour window allowing 18 hours for your body to clean out the harmful fungus. 5. Keep infected areas of the skin dry and exposed to the air as much as possible. Fungi and yeasts like candida love moisture and darkness but they hate UV light and dryness. So if you have athlete's foot for example, it's very important to go barefoot as much as possible and allow the air to get to your feet. 6. Whilst you're clearing out the candida, it's very important to avoid milk and dairy products as the natural sugars within have been shown to feed the fungus. Cut these out entirely and eat probiotic rich vegetables daily like kimchi, sauerkraut, pickles and other fermented veggies. These foods will help to establish a more diverse group of microbes in your gut in order to restore the normal balance of candida. If you'd like to learn more about some of the best strategies to kill candida in yeast, go ahead and tap on this video that's on your screen now. Thank you so much for watching my video today and as always I wish you great health, wealth and happiness.